I'm Angel Ortiz from Sefija Online, and I'm here with director John Shu from What's going uh, on? Now You See Me Too. Yes. So, John, when you were good, were you into uh, uh, illusions and uh, magic? Yeah, I mean, I definitely loved David Copperfield, watching him growing up on those live television broadcasts. Yes. I was enamored by it. Uh, and I tried to do it on my own. I'm the youngest of five kids, so oh. <laughs> we would all try magic, and I was usually not the great one. <laughs> So I picked up film. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's another form of illusion. Exactly. It's yeah. storytelling. And that's, I think, ultimately our story is about, uh, about storytellers and how do they get along with each other. Professional liars, how do they become a family and trust each other? The, uh, well, when they came with this project for you, I mean, how jazzed were you? Because, I mean, it's really, the way you did this, it, it looks so uh, seamless. Uh, yeah. I. I was intimidated because I loved the first movie. I'm a huge fan of the first one. Uh, and then all these amazing actors from Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, Mark Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg. I mean, all these people that I love and adore and have never worked with. And uh, so I was scared but excited about the opportunity. And But I love the world. Magicians, it's an original story, so you don't get that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and that I knew we could take this into places that uh, there was no material previously that people would know. And so I thought that was really exciting. So did you guys really find the eye? <laughs> oh, the eye is out there. We had many discussions about the eye and uh, what's going on in, in places like here at the Magic Castle where there are societies of magicians and it's very, very interesting. And probably quite a few ghosts walking around the halls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. I want to see that. <laughs> well, from, of the, you really did have some amazing actors yes. to work with. Yep. Uh, but out of the four horsemen, uh, is there anyone in particular in there that probably could have been an actual uh, magician? A magician? Dave Franco is incredibly good at card throwing and tossing. Um, we have this great sequence, I think it's like sort of the flagship moment where they're stealing this chip the size of a, 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 of a playing card. And so they're hiding it behind, they're palming it, they're putting it in their jackets, we're following it. Um, and every time it's in their hands, it's real stuff. They're actually doing that. So they had to train to do it. And Dave just got better and better at it. So we got to give him more stuff to play around with. So that, that was, was a exciting. really cool scene. Oh, thank that you. That really was thank a cool you. scene. The uh, well, now that the now the the combo pack, the Blu-ray and DVD, yes. uh, anything special that we should uh, be expecting to see on it? Yeah, I think one of the the hardest things that we to show in a movie is how we did this stuff. Um, you know, we really took a big effort to to make it real and practical effects, so that you weren't doing special effects, not CG stuff, but literally they were doing the magic tricks in real time. We don't cut away, and uh, as many as we could. So in the behind the scenes, you get a glimpse of how we put these things together. You get to meet our magicians that we've got to work with, from Keith cool. Barry to Blake Voigt, and how we design this stuff. And you get to see the actors practicing their magic, and you get cool. to see in real life how good they really were. Well, thank you so much, John. This was fun. No, thank you. It was <laughs> awesome. Congratulations.